Welcome back to the channel everybody and thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm down here by the river. I got the pickup truck. So what I have today is a truck tent. From Joy Tudis. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And uh, they sent this to me. They thought maybe I'd be able to get some use out of it and I think that they're right so I'm gonna try this out this is supposed to be I think it's the gray and green and it's for an eight foot bed and that's what I have here so uh, let's uh, get to setting it up so this is the bag it comes in it folds up pretty small it seems like a pretty good bag it's got two compression straps on it so I think it'll be pretty easy to get back into the bag when I'm done camping. So this is your tent poles, obviously. Let's see what's in here. Right. Okay, so by the looks of it, I have two long poles, a medium pole, and a short pole. Okay, so let's get this tent set up. Let's pull it out of the bag, lay it on the ground, find where the door is, make sure the door is pointing to the back, Put all your poles together. It should be two longs, a medium and a short. The two longs go crisscross through the sleeves and you tuck the ends into the gray pockets that are there. And then I pinch the tent lifting up and feed the pole in so there's always, you're always pushing with the pole so it doesn't come apart. And there I am tucking them in the pockets so then I grab the medium pole and it gets fed through that loop above the door. Same process there, just pinch and feed, pinch and feed and put it in the pocket. So now you grab your small pole and you insert it in an eyelet in the middle of the tent where the two long poles meet and insert it into the eyelet above the door. Now this is where a friend would come in handy to put this in the back, but since I was camping alone, I managed to get it in, grab your straps, there's three down each side, find a place on your truck, every truck will be different, and uh, snap them in and cinch everything down and center it all up. That didn't take very long at all actually. This is the second time I've set this tent up. As you could see, that uh, putting it in the back of the truck, it's be a lot better if it's a two-person job. Um, I have seen some people pitch them in the bed of the truck, but I haven't tried that yet, so maybe in a future video. But let's see what this thing looks like inside. Okay, so looks like we have some toggles to tie the door back and it is a double-sided door so you have your bug screen and it looks like it's really fine it'll be good for no seams no seams no get in them and then there's also a privacy cover that covers that window so let's close that right there Nice, bright toggles. And there we go. I am getting sweaty and it is raining. So, since I have a Ford F-150 with the step, I can step right in this thing. And I'm going to let you know right now, this thing is a mansion in there. Look at that. So it looks like we have a vent at the very 
back or front side of the truck and we have two windows with screens and you'll notice that there's no rain fly with this so it means that uh, if when it's raining I really can't open those windows I'm gonna have to rely on that vent so uh, I'm gonna start setting some stuff in up and uh, I'll bring these back okay so this front vent here can be perched open like so piece of velcro keep it up so I'm gonna crack these windows just a little bit just to keep the airflow but you can see I'm 5'11 and uh, I fit in here really well. I got my full size jeweler caught and I have room for a table and a chair here. Um, I made a previous video that I never did post. I'll throw some shots in from uh, that video right now. Step on inside. All right, this thing is a it's a palace so if you guys are interested in buying one of these for yourself um, you should be able to find a discount code in the description on this video um, I was told I would be able to give my uh, viewers a, a discount um, now I talked to this company a couple of months ago so I don't know if anything has changed but uh, so far, I, I really like this. I'm pretty sure I can get some good use out of it. What I do like about it is you're up off the ground. There is so much space in here. And uh, like you can get changed. Uh, you bring a propane heater. You know, you just it's so much room in an eight foot bed. I got the tailgate down. Um, yeah. It's a palace, that's all I can say. It is a palace. Okay, so it's raining pretty good and it sure looks like that tent is repelling water there's water running down because they don't really claim it to be waterproof they just say it's water resistant and by look at the water running off that they're right the only thing I'm kind of worried about is I was too lazy to take my tunnel cover off so any water that runs down the back here is just going to build up there and possibly get into the bed of the truck and maybe through the floor but I don't think it's going to rain that much at least I'm very hopeful it's not gonna well, this is a really good look at what the Joy Tutus can do in the rain and I am getting wet showing you All right, very nice looking tent. So I spent last night here at Sogging Bluffs camping in my Joy Tutus truck tent and it rained for about three and a half hours and it rained pretty good. No signs of any leaks, which is very impressive since Joy Tutus doesn't even really classify this as waterproof. Um, no problems at all, no leaks, no moisture. Uh, I had a great dry night, good sleep, 
Uh, this thing is huge. This is for the eight foot truck bed. They also come in smaller versions for any size truck bed. So get what you need for a tent that's under $200. You can't go wrong. This thing, this thing is, it's really good. It's a, it's a good tent. I'd like to thank Joy Tudis for sending me this tent um, in exchange for this video. Um, I will not I will not promote anything that I don't believe in and uh, this tent for under $200 is well worth it if I had to pay for it out of my pocket I would I think I'll get some good use out of this tent um, it's huge inside like it's just it's, it's, it's a palace in there uh, the only things that I would consider uh, Joy Tudis changing is putting a place for an extension cord to go inside the tent without having to run it through your zippers because that's just, I don't know, just put a port for a, a, an extension cord and a place to hang uh, a lantern on the ceiling or, you know, those USB lights. It should have a hanger in the center and I, I kind of thought that it was supposed to but mine doesn't anyway. But So yeah, I filmed a video of this whole camp with cook and supper and everything so if you're interested in seeing that please feel free to subscribe to my channel check out my other camping videos I have I have a few um, I like to camp I like to film it and I like to share it with everybody so please subscribe to my channel and you guys have a good weekend and happy camping to you all